And he said, will you go to Bud Schulberg? That's the writer. He wrote a script called On the Waterfront. You read the taxi scene with him, and if he likes you, you can play Marlon Brando's brother. Well, I almost fell on the floor because Marlon Brando was, was doing a magnificent performance in Streetcar Named Desire, and my God, you know, this is uh, some colleague to work with. And I went and read with Schulberg, which was difficult because was another thing in acting. He stuttered. Well, this is an acting thing. When you work with somebody, number one, after the second day, if they're terrible, or they have a quirk, or they have something you know, you're not used to, you must convince yourself that's part of the character. If you don't, every time they do this odd thing or that, your concentration is going to go. And it takes you a couple of years to learn that. So, okay, that's part of the character. He, 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 that's fine. That's fine. You know. Anyway, so uh, we went and did it, and uh, I was very pleased. I was a nervous wreck, you know. And uh, the rest more or less is history, and then sometimes I feel if I see the taxi scene one more time, I'll shoot myself, you know, because this scene has become identified as one of the supposedly great scenes in cinema or something. Well, I hope you don't have a gun because here it comes, the taxi scene. I had a hunch it might sneak in. I didn't know. Uh... You see the Venetian blind? Yeah. It wasn't there when we walked on the set. And they're saying, how the hell can I shoot the scene if you can see through the back of the cab and five feet away is the wall of the studio? You were supposed to get a back projection. And the thing that saved us, one of the working men said, you know, I came to work in a cab that had a Venetian blind. And Kazan, who's no fool, said, get me a bloody Venetian blind. And they put that in, and we shot the scene. And the other thing is, it forced them to stay in close, so the scene basically depended upon the two actors. Also, it added attention for the actors. And when you get to moments like that, it's best to let the scene take you where it's going. And I got so upset trying to save his life that I put the gun on. So you got to go. You have to go. Threatening him, so hoping you say, oh, you know, okay. But it was funny because the taxi was an old beaten up prop from TV studio. And, you know, nobody knows what, goes, what really goes on in the scene. And then, uh, when I did my close-up, well, we did Brando's close-up, and I was off camera, and when you're off camera working with another actor, you do your nut, you overdo it, to get help them with the reaction. And that scene, you might say, I gotta tell you something, I hate your guts, you understand? I hate you. Off camera to help the actor says, you're no good, you're a stupid, you couldn't act if your life depended on it. How did you get in this film? You know, like that. And acting is reacting, so we're very dependent on each other. And that son of a gun went home when it was time for my close-up. And I never forgot that. It was a, like a wounding. I couldn't believe a man that talented would walk out. And I had to do, oh, it's the lowest. And I had to do my close up with the stage manager sitting with his script saying, So he must have burned his rear end. We came out even in that scene. You know? Absolutely. When you pull the gun, he just pushes it away with the tenderest thing. Um, it's, why, is it, why is it so remembered, this film? Is it because of this sort of tenderness between the two brothers, despite the fact? Well, first of all, I understand the story. Uh, one of the grips was talking to Marlon or something and told him about a gun and the guy just pushed it away. And being as talented and bright as he is, he took that right away. I didn't know he was going to do it. In the first place, when I work, I don't like to know what people are going to do. It takes away from the spontaneity. And, uh, what was your original question? My question, the second question was, why was why is this scene so remembered? Why is it quoted so much? I, I could have been a contender. Well, number one, because of Marlon's talent, but number two, it's, uh, uh, it's almost a love scene between two brothers. I don't mean sexually, but it's just, there is such uh, 
a feeling of simpatico between the two, even though one is doing something wrong, it's still your brother. And he looks at me and I'm still his brother. And that added a certain compassion and intensity, I think. Did you know that it was different? Did it feel as if it was very different from other movies? No, in the that's 50s? a myth about act. Uh, the most, uh, it's like when I did Marty, the act is so busy hoping he can do it. He knows one thing in general, it's a good script. It's good actors, good director, and that's all. You can't judge yourself in life and do anything, whether you're an actor or not, you can't do it. And so you just go one moment at a time, one scene at a time, but you know basically it's a very good script. You know, it was a powerful script.